Hi. Hey. Welcome to another episode of One, One Love. Love. Okay, so today we're going to be talking love me in public like you do in private. Yes, Lord. They can go for a word, relationship, friendships, and spend old friendships, y'all. Yeah. Like, have you ever had a friend who act different when they around a certain group of friends? Mm -hmm. Have you ever noticed some folks like yeah, that? Yeah, it seems it feels that they're one way with you and the homegirl, but time that one that been out of town or whatever. I don't know. You trying to impress them or yeah. everything that y'all really have in come. Now it's a problem. Now. Right. Oh, right. now you too country. Now you too ghetto. Uh, and you know everything you do get mm -hmm. on your nerves. You know what I'm saying? Yes, because I remember me and my friend was in college and we was like sisters, like hanging out together every day. And we get around her friend. She like, good. Just be quiet. Don't say nothing. You know, because I'm country and I'm gonna be me or whatever. So now when I get around, oh, I can't say nothing. Am I gonna embarrass you? You know, like, dang, excuse me. Yeah, and, and the thing is, and then it's kind of, it's sad to say, it's the same way with guys, too. Really? In a sense, it's kind of like that. You know, uh, we can all be pretty much on this here level. But as soon as somebody that comes and, you know, they got it really going on and stuff yeah. like that, all of a sudden, I was kind of sort of irrelevant because you're trying to impress. Oh, wow. That's so crazy. You're trying to impress that person. And so... Uh, that's that, yeah. It, it, it's it, not too many times it happened with guys, but sometimes we get to the point that we forget who we are trying to impress. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've had instances to where, like, me and my friend, like, we'll go out and stuff like that. But on this particular, I'd be like, girl, let's go out. And then they'd be like, girl, no, I don't feel like it. But then I see you on social media post up with this person right here. It's like, you really acting like you legit embarrassed of me or you only want to do these things with me but you and it, and that's cool if, if i ain't no go out home girl like if you don't want to go out with me that's cool so don't try to be all you know shy and private about it stuff like that just be real sad thing about it is the people that they do it to watch this let's just say you are the one that they hang with every day right. every week you the go-to person to call to or whatever this person that you trying to impress, but you finna hit the town with. You yeah. finna go out and go eat, and y'all finna go dance and club, whatever that you go do, carry up or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they only that one, and then after that one day over, guess what that friend Good, good, I need this a good, hey girl. No, nah, go no call Sally. Mm -hmm. Whoever you the girl, you know, and this just, and I, had a lot of it growing like in my early 20s and my teenage years, but now that I'm grown, child, I ain't got no problem because I ain't got no friends. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how about when you come around, folks get quiet? Like, oh, uh, yeah, you in into the room. Yeah. And then the time you walk in the room, what, right? What is that? I don't know. And then we'll let the people talk about you while you ain't there. We'll sit the flat foot, let folks talk about you. And won't say nothing, won't have your back. And they're like, no, nah, we cool and you love me in private. So if somebody come to you talking about me, no, nah, you need to have my back. He ain't like, you know what I'm saying? Just, I ain't saying you ain't got to be friends with these folks. But don't let them talk about me in front of you. If, right. if you my person, if we cool like that, that's, that's not cool. That's right. You know, I come around, you get quiet. Girl. That's right. That's right. And then, you know, not only just love me in public, guess what? Love me in private too. Watch this. The reason why I say love me in private, because what if I ain't there? Would you still take up for me? Right. What if I'm not there to defend myself? Would mm -hmm. you say, uh-uh, no, no, she ain't like that. Right. No, nah, oh, for good or whatever. Because you know what I'm saying? That just shows the character of you as a friend. Yes, it does. And a lot of people take their friend stuff too loosely. But love me in pride. Mm, yeah. <laughs> when ain't nobody else around. When I can't speak up for myself. When I can't speak up for myself. And then here's the, uh, here's the thing is, you got a, uh, a choice. Are you going to be loyal as a true friend? Or are you going to say something to uh, sound so, uh, you know, big in front of them actually if you got the tea or right. try to make yourself bigger than this person. Like, 
and we can go on and on and on about the friendship too if we can and there's like we're relationships boyfriend girlfriends and all it before you even get to the husband wife yeah. if you can't love me in public Come as on. a boyfriend my mama always used to tell us uh you don't need to be running around no boy if he can't come over here and knock on this door or if i can't you can't see him in public what you see him in private for just like you know he, he won't call you at 12 1 at night good come outside around the corner come outside come around for what Right. And then you always know these girls, and no offense to nobody, nothing like that. You always, everybody knows somebody that got a lot of kids, or maybe one, two kids, and you ain't never seen them with no boyfriend. I ain't got time for that. You ain't finna call me in no two, three in the morning, come around the corner and get my stuff and send me back <laughs> home. But then you can't even say, you know, you ashamed to be seen with me. Right. Like who, you know, not. Nah, and if you are ashamed to be seen with me, what do I look like giving you my stuff? You can't even have, not even my stuff, you can't even have my conversation. You can have none of me, no part of me. Right, right. And then the person who always trying to sneak be ugly in the way half the time. Like Child that. police, like and that. you trying to sneak. Like a nag. <laughs> and you trying to sneak Ugh. and cover somebody up. Child police. What you think, baby? Look like Otis off of Martin. <laughs> and I got a strong boss. <laughs> oh, what I got a strong there, boss. <laughs> and even sometimes when you in a relationship, you got to have your partner back. Like you laying up, pillow talking with this person. Ooh, I love you, baby. Now nah, let's uh, but then you let folks talk about your, you let folks talk about your person like a dog. Ain't no way. You not finna tell me nothing about Joe. You not finna tell me nothing. I don't care. Like I know some people who family don't like their spouse or they family don't like their boyfriend. Good, I don't know why you like him anyway. He broke down, woo. If they just be sitting there, no, nah, but you're not gonna say nothing. Nothing. Nothing about this one right here, period. And, and somebody even tried to, and I ain't trying to say it, tried to tell me something about my wife and I let them know, you can't tell me nothing. <laughs> no, you can't tell, Man, no, you can't tell nothing. if you keep talking, you are not gonna understand the level of anger. <laughs> anger. <laughs> Anda. 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 Angry. Anda. When you're angry. Oh, angry. Oh. Shut your damn mouth. Anda. <laughs> you ain't gonna understand that level. I'm gonna take it to. Mm hmm. Like, how is you letting somebody, somebody that you share your most intimate moments with like it's been like boyfriend girlfriend stuff like sometimes they can slide but especially when you married you can't nobody on earth that ain't your job who you think you are what's yeah. somebody say something about your marriage exactly oh but you perfect yeah it's like you gotta speak up for your person because if you cannot speak up for your person what what you doing with them what are you doing with them mm -mm. And now I, you feel as you got room to, to talk about now, especially if you are a married person trying to put your mouth on another person that's married and you feel like this, that, other, you ain't got just cause or whatever. Mm -hmm. That ain't your place because what if it was vice versa and said something about your Bro, race? I'm telling you, I had to learn. I really had to learn because I just used to think like if I don't like somebody, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, girlfriend, I'm going to tell you, I don't care who I tell look, I don't like him, he this, this, that, and the third, but man, once I got married, I don't care if I hate your husband, I don't care if I don't like the way he whatever, whatever, as long as you like it, oh well, like I said, as long as he ain't beating on you, but I am not going to put my mouth on nobody else's marriage or nothing like that, because if the person, if you sit up there and take that and don't defend, yo, no. That's right. And I done seen folks that just sit up there and let folks just go in. On they spout, you know the sickest thing. I seen people who marry and be talking about their own spouse. Yeah. But that's who you going home to. Man, such so get on my nerves. She such such. Why are you telling me this? Yeah. Why are you saying it? That's another. Level keep that of to yeah. Keep that to yourself. Man, I ain't stuck. I ain't stuck. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. People. And especially for guys, it's the same way. Don't be. Always just so sweet and rubbing all on, kissing on and stuff like that. And then you know, 
and you can't do the same thing. You know, I'm, you come, I'm coming from a man's point of view. Mm -hmm. Because the way I am, and I tell them, and I call my wife, but I call my wife at home, I call my wife in public. And when I'm, I'm talking, when I'm in Walmart, she already know, because she's going to hit way on our six. <laughs> wife! Wife. Wife. Yeah. Did somebody ask you what my name was the other day? I said wife. Wife. That's it. And so it's the same way, you know, the same thing that you see here is in Walmart, it's mm -hmm. in church, it's at home. So I don't have to remember to be two different characters. Well, this concludes another episode of One Love and to next time to God be the, the glory. glory.